Alo, shalom, shabbat shalom, sembet shalom, rastafari, shabbat shalom. Okay, we want to open this particular, which graphic are we opening? Okay, here's I and I. Um, this is just an example of, of the Aliyah, right here. Example of the Aliyah, of the reading. Right, that's the office right there. Still looks a little bit the same. We're on audio version right now. All right, reading from the Metzhaf Kedus. And this Torah portion, let's bring this Torah portion right here, is, is uh, Vayikra. 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 Vayikra or Vayikra. It's almost like Viagra in a sense. You know, but on a certain level, if you understand it scientifically, um, not in the worldly sense, but if you are able to um, interpret spiritual things by spiritual, then that's another reasoning right there. But this particular Torah portion, I was going through a setup of it, and I said, well, to maximize the time, although there's no... Um, we don't have a command uh, to um, preach or even teach on the Sabbath. The Yeshua, he healed on the Sabbath. And we just had posted up another part of, um, we've been working on this, uh, this, um, let's move this over here. Yeah, we've been working on this teaching. In fact, the Holy Spirit's been actually guiding us. Um, as always, but showing us some really interesting and amazing truths, even regarding this whole Petrus Romanus, Pope, even the Scandal Show, Scandal, you know, the Scandal Show, Olivia Pope is the character, Carrie Washington is the actress, and actually we've seen the the Django, right, the, the Django um, film. And that's a whole other commentary about that, because a couple of folks ask us, what do we think about that? The Django, and we didn't even get into you know that so much. I mean, we was hearing this and that, but it's a good thing we saw it for ourselves. And actually, we got to see the original as well. I think we have that. Just have to make time, um, not even make time, but just take the time. I actually, sit down and to watch that because in the um, in I and I calling in this particular ministry, this is one of the reasons why we put forward the the Beta Rastafari. Um, uh, Shema, the part two, and we give thanks to um, uh, Sister Ruhama because she actually had reminded I and I, and then also give thanks to I and I, um, hit Sister Emmanuel and Anabesa C2, as well and and Wendem um, Alonso and Wendem Tobia Mandela, as well as. Um, um, Manly, Brother Manly, um, I mean, Brothers uh, Oludare as well, um, um, and new new brothers and sisters, or brothers and sisters who are newly um, uh, watching these posts, studying and growing in the faith of the King of Kings and his Christ. So I have some, some still set up, actually, already, and I wanted to actually just set this up right here because we had ended it off in some recordings from last week. So we're looking at this thumb drive right here, some of the various uh, word picks. I want to find the word pick um, for this that may be most appropriate to this uh, Torah portion. And the word pick that is most appropriate to this Torah portion actually is... Uh, ancient, I think it's fairly ancient, uh, ancient, um, let's uh, see if we can get this right here. So we're coming up to Pesach, here we go. It's this one, but actually the original image, let's see if we can get the original image of that, at least the name of the original image. Here we go, it's a Simon or Simon, interesting, Simon um, Ushakov, Last Supper. Right, a last supper, because this is this is what the reason for the season is right now, coming up on the twenty fifth, twenty thirteen, 
is the fascica, the pass over, or we can call it the moving on. So even though we might minister and teach on certain other subject matters or reveal what the Holy Spirit has revealed to us in some of the scriptures and the possible um, correspondence or connection of what's going on in the present time and space, we have to keep trying our regular discipline, and, and that's the discipleship. So there's a couple of other um, teachings and posts on the whole Peter and Potter and what's really behind that. If you've seen the Petrus Romanus, that basically the the full version, I think it's an hour and a half, like 90, 93, or 90, 93 to 94 minutes or so, we posted that up on the, on the YouTubes. And um, we give thanks uh, for all the positive strength and prayers on that. So here's where we're at right now. We're actually in the book of Leviticus, right? The book of Leviticus, right? And we're beginning the book of Leviticus in our Torah portion, readings and feedings. Now, why I wanted to bring up this particular, as we would say, I trait right here, and let's uh, delineate this a little bit and see if we can get a little split screen right going on right here. All right, here we go. All right, because these two elements actually uh, go together. These particular two elements go together. Yeah, that's that's uh, sufficient for right now. Let's see, bring it out like that so you can get the fullness. All right. Now, this is one of the, I think, Russian, if I'm correct, Russian. Some of the Greek, the old Greek Orthodox, the old Greek, but the you know, there's been the various apostasies, basically, going on within the church. And this is the, this is, we're in the Laodicean church age, as we have explained before, and um, as Revelation and in Schofield Reference Bible, there's a footnote that explains these um, ages, these church ages. And if you study it, some folks, you know, some folks argue about it, but, you know, they can argue about it, but bring forth the facts, the evidence, you know, based on the evidence that we have and the data that we have, the best, um, for lack of a better word, theory of the seven churches that we have in Revelation is that this was to show um, the brothers and sisters who would rise after the time of the original um, apostles of our black Lord and Savior, of the black Moshia. We say the black Messiah because of all the white sepulcher, right, the white sepulcher Christianity, the white washing of Christianity that has gone on. In fact, this kind of also brings us to another subject matter that's very much connected with the themes, the, the central and foundational theme that we have in that we have in in Leviticus. So we want to understand what the foundation of Leviticus really is. Now you see this right here. Um, this is interesting right here. This picture says, uh, "Which one is a crucifixion?" Right? Which one? <laughs> interesting. Which one is just fiction? Right? Black people have the wrong cross hanging on their walls in their homes. Now, this is, um, this is the clip, Real Fiction uh, dot, uh, GIF. It's, a, it's, a, it's from blacktown.net, the church, of, the church for black men only. Now, ones might disagree with some of the zealousness of the brother on a certain level, but the basic principle, the basic story, as we say, remains right and exact. Now, it's interesting when you look at this and you study as we're going to study, and we've studied it before, but we're going to kind of go over this in a, a, a new and a living way for this present time because there's a crucifixion still going on. There's a sacrifice. You know, we hear people talking about sacrifice, right? So this really gives us the basic foundation from a a Judeo-Christian perspective, okay, that weather bug program right there, it gives us, okay, now which, which one is the right cross, right? Okay, I got a couple of things I want to say with the I and them 
okay, um, Leviticus is dealing with the sacrifices of the old, uh, the old covenant, right? The old covenant sacrifices, right? And if we would get an overview of this right here, let's just touch on an overview of this. Some ab wal wa men fasadus ahadu amlak vayikra vayikra ba amrinya we call it tarito tarito tarito. So let's bring up the Haile Selassie Bible right here. We have the Haile Selassie Bible right here. This is uh, another online. This is at Bible dot org under Foreign Bibles forward slash Amharic. Bible. It's taking a little moment to upload. We're using this. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can bring this in again. Here we go. Okay, so let's go to Old Testament. Let's uh, bring this down. Let's go to the Old Testament. Here we go. O T, right? O T. And it's a little slow. So if we if we go over time right here, we'll continue in the second part, all right, in the second part. Actually, I was reading Romans, going over Romans, I think it's chapter 16, where Hawari Alos was giving his greetings to, I think, nearly 26 different brothers and sisters in, in Rome because he was touching on the whole two Peters, two Peters thing right now, right? And it was just kind of reminding I and I, as we study the scriptures, it really shows us, what sort of etiquette, right, etiquette and etiquette that we should have, even within the greetings, like salam le nan to yuhun, salam le an to yuhun, and all of those will go over, but even from the English perspective, we get a basic foundation. So here we go to orit ze lewawian. It's known as orit ze lewawian, the Torah of the Levites. All right, and this is the first um, first chapter, Mi'raf An. So you can see this right here, Mi'raf An. Let's get a pointer, right? So okay, here's the first verse. So we're gonna go through the Amharic of how do we get Tarito Tarito in the royal Amharic Tarito. Now in the Hebrew is Wa'yikra Wa'yikra Wa'yikra. In other words, and he called. So here's the first, his line one. It says, Kuter An, Mi'raf An, chapter one. Kuter An, it says, Egezi Abe Harim, Besam Awilaman Fiskadusa Hadu Amlak, Egezi Abe Harim, Ka Megananyo, then Kwana Wist, Musen at Arito, Indi Seal Tenagaro. And the sustainer, and the sustainer, Yod He Wow He Yahweh in the Hebrew, and the sustainer, or who in a Judaic and a Jewish respectful way, they would say Adonai as for a deference to the Yahweh holy name, but that is not commanded. That's more part of a tradition. So when we say Yahweh, because it's Yahweh corresponds to Egez Yahweh, Yahweh's pre um, Mordial name was Sustainer, the Ethiopic name of the true and living Yahweh is Egezi Abiher. So Egezi Abiherim and the Sustainer, Ka Megananyao Dinquan, from the tent of meeting, from within the tent of meeting, right? And the Sustainer from within, Ka Megananyao Dinquan, Wist from within, Ka from Megananyo. Now, this is an interesting word right here because this word right here actually um, is also used in Ethiopic when it is said multimedia, right? Megananya bizuhan. Bizuhan mean of the many. And Megananya is the idea is a meeting place. It's like the media. We could say social media today. So it's interesting when we get to the core, to the core root of it, we recognize that our father, that Jah, already overstood the end from the beginning, right? So if these things seem like, wow, that's interesting, it's because he is who he is, 
right? And we're going to pick up on this in part two because we're going to keep this as a short portion so we can post it up to um, Ethiopian World Net and the other sites that may have a limitation on time or videos and the longer portion on Rastafari sabbatical on the YouTubes. So be sure to click and subscribe. Shalom Rastafari.